Alright, hello guys. Today I'm going to be bringing you a brief update of Hurricane Dorian and what we have going on. This video is going to be pretty short compared to my normal. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. That's where you'll see more nowcast type stuff for different storms and this one as well. Now you can see it is, uh, it does have some nice spin to it, but it has lost its eye actually at this point. It might come back. Uh, we're going to see it intensify just a little bit more after it's out of the way of the Bahamas, but not too much. We were expecting it to possibly go back to Category 4 or 5 status, but it's at a week 3, and I think it's going to stay at 3 status from this point. Uh, it does have a nice spin to it still, though, and really, really, really intense winds still. Now, looking at your spaghetti model guidance, we can see here that it is expected to stay further offshore than models were showing uh, yesterday and the day before. So we have trended back east, and obviously it is headed north now, so this is permanent. It's really good news, but North Carolina is now looking to be in more danger as they're expecting a direct impact for the Outer Banks and areas like Moorhead City and areas like that. Uh, South Carolina coast also, you're going to have the storm coming in a lot closer than Florida and Georgia, but that does not mean you're safe. There's still going to be tons of rain and tons of wind for Florida and all of these areas. Now you can see here in our intensity guidance, we are at a weak category three status and you can see that the models like to maybe intensify it more and then eventually weaken it after a while. After it heads north a certain amount, it is gonna start to uh, weaken obviously, but it, some models have it maintained category three status pretty long and even intensify to a middle, you know, category three status. Now here's NOAA's official track and forecast. You can see they expect it to stay a major hurricane until 2 a.m. Thursday, and then by 2 a.m. Friday, they expect it to be a Category 2 or 1, as it's right offshore of Moorhead City, North Carolina. Uh, you can see movement is northwest at 1 mile per hour, so we're basically stalled out at this point, but winds are still at 120 miles per hour, which is extremely dangerous, obviously, but it, it is good news that it is already heading north, and we have seen the turn begin. Now here's your uh, hurricane force wind speed probabilities, and within those oranges and reds, that's where your 50% chance and above. You can see none of that comes on land, but those yellows do come on land for the South Carolina coast and North Carolina coast, where we're expecting 20 or 30 to 50% chance of hurricane force wind speed prob probabilities. So this is an area where we are expecting the potential for very dangerous winds. Um, the Florida and Georgia coastline will be receiving at least tropical storm force winds along the entire coast, basically from where it's at right now, upwards into northern Georgia and southern South Carolina coast. And then we expect actually hurricane force winds north of you. Now here's your expected rainfall here. According to Noah from this one, you can see the Florida coast in those light greens. We're all expecting one to two inches of rain, which is already a lot. Within the dark green, though, we're expecting two to even four inches of rain. And then within that yellow color, we're expecting four to six inches of rain. So from the northern Georgia coast or northern Florida coast all the way through the Georgia coast. Uh, and then it, within that orange shade, we see six to ten inches of rain for the South Carolina coast and the North Carolina coast. And then you can see a little bit of that red comes on shore for the Outer Banks, Morehead City, and some of those southern uh, North Carolina coastal regions. That's where we're expecting 10 to 15 inches of rain. And obviously the dangerous part about this is that we are expecting the possibility within some bands to get even more than the expected amount, obviously, because these are so unpredictable and where the heavy bands are going to show up. I mean, a lot of areas could exceed 15 inches within that red shade. And within the orange shade, a lot of areas could exceed 10 inches of rain. So this is a very, very serious rainfall situation. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this Dorian update. Stay safe, everybody. Please obey the mandatory evacuations. It is for your safety, and it is not something to take lightly and just be like, oh, it's okay. I stay every time. You know, you probably got lucky in past storms if you did stay and you're fine, and the expected conditions are life-threatening and you could be dealing with a very, very, very serious situation. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.